Hi guys, how are you? I'm Viv from Just Cosplay Things. In this session, I will show you how I turned my living room into this. You will need two adjustable lights that are reasonably strong, one color changing light, a metal bracket or frame, and your backdrop props. Step one, backdrop. I split my backdrop into two components the big picture items and the small picture items. Big picture items form the main background of your footage. The most cost effective way to do this is by using posters or cheap large sheets of fabric. That's what the metal bracket is for. Don't stress if it's not perfect, they are just there to set the overall color tones. The small picture items take a bit more finesse because they will very clearly be shown in your footage. It is important to decide the main colors of your video. I recommend no more than two colors for your background and one strong color for your main subject. Decide on your overall video colors first and then get your props accordingly. Step 2. Lighting. Start by eliminating all other light sources such as windows, room lights, etc. This gives you more control over the light. Now we will set the ambience, which is your color changing light. I use LiveX bulbs, which can be adjusted with your smartphone. Set this light at the furthest point back of your shoot, behind your backdrop, and point it upwards. Set the lights to the same key colors as your props. Now we move on to the main subject. Decide where your subject is going to be in the frame, then position the first key light at a 45 degree angle to highlight the key features of the subject. I have the light position at the level of my face because I sing, so I want the audience to be able to see my facial expressions and my mouth. You can see that there is a lot of shadow on the other side of my face, and this is why I use a second key light to balance it out. There are many lights out there that you can use. I would recommend adjustable LEDs because you can control the brightness, warmth, which is how white or how yellow it looks, and reduce flickering. Step 3. Camera and settings. If you shoot your own videos like me with a tripod, I recommend a camera that has a flip screen. It will save you so much time checking your footage. I use a Canon M50 Mark II mirrorless camera, which is a smaller camera as I love shooting outdoors and carrying a lighter camera is much easier. Also, I'm small. Always shoot manual. If you haven't done that before, some main topics you'll want to research are aperture, exposure, shutter speed versus frame rate, white balance. These are all large topics to cover, so I won't go into too much detail, but there are plenty of good tutorials on YouTube. Another important thing, shoot with a flat color profile. Here is what my videos look like during the shoot and after color grading. Step 4. Shooting. Plan your shots. Honestly, planning is 80% of the work and shooting the other 20%. If you are a singer and don't have an instrument to focus on, avoid adjusting and looking at yourself in the camera. This will look very awkward. Shoot A-roll and B-roll footage. A-roll footage is the primary footage, B-roll is the secondary footage to mix things up in between the A-roll and keep the video interesting and the audience engaged. Step 5. Editing. I use a program called DaVinci Resolve which is free and readily available for download. If you haven't used video editing software before, it does require some learning. But again, there are plenty of very helpful tutorials on YouTube. I hope this helps you guys get started. Good luck!